How's everybody doing? This is the pack. This is Hunter. That's Daniel. Today I am going to respond to a comment right here. Big and Barbie said, I have a six month old puppy. How can I get her to use outside? She's stubborn but smart. That's good. It's a good thing that she's stubborn because it means she's super smart like you said, right? And she said, uh, it's very frustrating. I know, I can understand. Like, trust me, when these guys were puppies, I had to deal with so much crap, so much poop. They used to eat my shoes, my clothes. They used to go into the garbage. I understand. So before I do any training, I make sure I take them outside in the yard and we play around for a little bit before I do any types of training, okay? The reason why is because you kind of want them to be like excited. You want to get them excited and a little tired so they don't have all that crazy, you know, pent up energy all sitting around the house all night from sleeping. So right now it's around afternoon uh, in Philadelphia. Look at this smile, look at that smile. <laughs> And that guy is just distracted with his ball. So, like I said, Freedom, uh, make sure you find out what your dog is motivated by. Is it a toy? Is it a treat? And if it's a treat, what kind of treat? And if it's a toy, what kind of toy? Is it a ball? Is it, is it like a teddy bear? Is it a duck? Um, those kind of things kind of help you figure out what your dog just is looking life. forward after the lesson okay but yeah and make sure you have doggo friends as well around the neighborhood that you can go see and hang out with and because it's easier when one dog sees it's like monkey see monkey do okay it's a little easier to teach when uh, one dog knows how to do all the tricks and the other one doesn't if your dog poops or pees in the house please please don't punish them don't hit them don't put your hands on them because they don't know any better okay they do not they're just a little cute angels that you know they just need a little mentoring and that's where i come in and try to help you out in this type of situation uh so what i would do is uh i would probably just take them outside uh in a grassy area uh somewhere where they feel comfortable and like i said have a treat or a toy like daniel loves his ball so now if i take his ball he will do stay sit sit hey sit uh now he would do anything for this ball okay i can make him go poo i can have him come here uh whatever like for example come here sit you get it yeah so like i said find out what motivates your dog and hunter is more of a uh, uh a treat look if i if i have the ball here drop it leave it leave it thank you stay sit stay if i bring this ball and try to play with hunter hunter doesn't really oh you see <laughs> he doesn't care as much he cares about it then you'll get it and that is why it's important to find out what your dog is motivated by. Like you, what are you motivated by? When you go to work, you want that paycheck, right? That's why you work. <laughs> so that's number one thing I would say is find out what motivates your dog. Uh, the second thing would be regularly, on the regular basis, take him to a specific location, okay? A specific location and the words that I use is go poop for obviously potty and then if I say go potty they just pee but that's kind of what we've been working on since they were like super little I I've had them since they were like eight weeks old they were very tiny little babies when I got them um, and then anytime when we go to a grassy area I would say go potty go poop 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 potty 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 and then the moment they go I would reward them fast very fast I would give him a treat, I would give him a, a, his ball, and I would play with them. Like, I'll be so excited, like, oh, good job! I'll like jump around and play around, and I get super excited, and then they'll get really excited as well, okay? That's number two. And then number three is, make sure you have a lot of patience if you wanna have dogs, because it is not easy to have dogs. It takes a lot of time, a lot of patience, and, a lot of money too because I mean there's hospital bills uh, there is toy bills there's food bills there's 
uh, like let's say you're going out of town you need to have a little money aside for them to be able to be um, babysat uh, and uh, yeah it's, it's it's fun I love it but it's not easy okay so keep that in mind and um, if you have any question concerns please do let me know because I'll be more than happy to help you out I've had these dogs uh, for seven years now and I'm very qualified to uh, tell you these things because I'm a I'm a pack leader what can I say hmm just kidding <laughs> until next time make sure to like comment subscribe thank you you